In this video, we're going to show you step by step how to create an affordable ceiling detail by simply doing a little bit of light framing and using Trimtex Easy Tray beads for a dramatic effect. So in this video, our client approached us about creating an affordable ceiling detail that would mirror his kitchen island. Now luckily for us, the layout of the island was already mapped out on the floor, so all we had to do was use a laser level to project those dimensions onto the ceiling. But you can use this type of ceiling detail pretty well anywhere. You don't necessarily have to mirror something that's on the floor. You can just create a beautiful centerpiece or accent in any room by using your imagination. So once we had our laser lines, we used a few pieces of 2x2 to build our frame. Now you don't necessarily have to use 2x2s, but you do need to make sure that whatever you use is an inch and a half thick. This means if you plan on using 2x4s or 2x6s, you need to flip them on their side to maintain that inch and a half thickness. This is because the Trimtex Easy Tray system only returns 2 inches. So when you add your half inch drywall to your framing, you then reach your 2 inch height, which can now be returned with the Easy Tray bead. There is a 2.5 inch Easy Tray, which can be used to obtain even more customizable finishes. However, in this video, we're just touching base on the regular 2 inch Easy Tray. If there's enough of a demand, maybe we'll do a video on the 2.5 inch Easy Tray and some of its features in the near future. So I had to drywall the inside of our ceiling detail because we decided to go with a 350 chamfer bead, as this is what was used throughout the rest of the house. The outside edge doesn't need to get drywalled because the Easy Tray returns to the ceiling, hiding that unfinished edge. Trimtex provides two miter markers in every box of Easy Tray, which takes all the work out of figuring out your miters. Now you can cut your pieces a few different ways. If we had lots of cuts to make, the fastest and most accurate way would be to use a miter saw. But if you only have a few cuts to make, you can do like I'm doing in this video and score the vinyl with a utility knife a few times and then snap it. Or you could also trace the miter with a pencil and then use a pair of snips to make the cut. Install the Easy Tray by caulking along the front edge of the bead using a siliconized acrylic caulk. You'll then want to use half inch divergent staples every 6 inches and or Trimtex spray adhesive. We double spray the vinyl as well as the drywall for a stronger bond. Using a putty knife, make sure there's enough room to fill with mud. And that's really all there is to it. It's a fairly simple process for a very dramatic effect. Just keep measuring your pieces, use your Trimtex miter marker for all your inside and outside miters, and try to make your miters as tight as possible. The rest is just repetition. If you're interested in learning more about Easy Tray, we just wrote a small blog about it called Easy Tray Easy Money on drywallnation.com, in which we interviewed 2006's Drywall Artist of the Year, Tom Sass, about the subject. The blog also shows a few photos of completed projects which made use of the Easy Tray system, not only by Tom Sass, but also Myron Ferguson and Scott Montgomery as well. We'll post a link for the blog in the description of this video in case you're interested in learning more. Just a little tip, as I'm mudding, you can see here that we have screws in the corners of our outside miters. We just use these temporarily to wedge the miters closer together until the caulking dries to ensure a nice tight miter. Or if you have a pretty wavy or uneven ceiling, the screws also help the beads stay tight to the ceiling. The tiny screw holes don't matter much because when you're all done and you caulk the outside edge of the easy tray, they get covered up anyways. We've also used painter's tape to hold our miters tightly together until the caulking dries and that works excellent as well. So thanks for watching our video on installing Trimtex Easy Tray. We really hope you guys enjoyed it and possibly learned a few things as well. Don't forget to check out our blog on drywallnation.com for more information. The link is in the description of the video. And also let us know your thoughts. Have you worked with Easy Tray before? If so, what was your experience with it? Or do you think after watching this video you might try it out? We'd like to hear your thoughts and comments. So thanks a lot again for watching and have an awesome day.